All right, Coach. So when the when the decision initially came down uh, from the athletic association, there'd be there'd be no more two days. Um, what was your initial reaction? It wasn't a, a problem for us because that's the way we've been doing it for um, three years that I've already been here. And this being my fourth year, we've always had um, three-hour practices with a little bit of a break in between, not much. But uh, with our current coaching staff situation, as far as we only have two teachers on staff, so uh, it works best for everybody involved in our program to just have one long, pro one long practice. So it wasn't much of a change for our, for our guys. Is that something you've, you've seen uh, maybe in, in, in a program similar to this size program where uh, – a lot, of, a lot of coaches uh, that it requires, you know, a few coaches that coach a football team that since it's not all uh, uh, teachers, that, that that is maybe the best way to go about it. Uh, you know, we've done it different ways. Um, you know, when I was at Monticello, it was one long practice. When I was at Northland, when I was calling the defense, we were having um, defensive practice in the, in the evening, and then they do the two days in the, in the morning. So, sure. it, I mean, everywhere I've been has been a little bit different, but for the most part anymore, I, the, for the, the small programs that I've been associated with, it's been three-hour practices. When we were at Dowling, it was, they were splitting it up in, as far as two days. Okay. Um, how about now, uh, you know, before you did it for scheduling purposes, three hours, uh, some coaches have said that three hours is kind of tough to deal with that at, at, at once sometimes, back end of that three hours, sometimes it's tough to keep kids' attention, especially some of the younger yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. It, it's been, it's been kind of a grind as far as our guys and, and enthusiasm and, and Keeping their focus for three hours, that's next to impossible. So you got to be creative as a coach as far as trying to do different things on different days. And sure. um, it's not ideal, that's for sure. But uh, it is the grind is definitely there. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we had to get in, and, and uh, it's definitely needed, but it, it does make it tough. So you, you talked about how your staff, uh, not all teachers, so this is best for scheduling for you. How about now? Is it nice that since this already worked out best for you, everyone's on the same page? They got yeah, an e equal playing field? Exactly. You know, um, you know, I don't know what the rest of the coaching staffs, as far as some of the schools are playing, um, I would imagine them to be pretty similar. Um, I know that Regina's staff is mostly guys that aren't teachers too. So, um, you know, L and M, I think most of those guys are probably probably teachers. Uh, well, I really have no idea uh, as far as their staff. So, those are the, f the few schools that I know about are probably having the one long one. But I, I can't really speak to for everybody. Sure, but it's nice to be on the on the same playing field. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, uh, looking forward, uh, now that you you know that uh, everyone's on the same playing field, do you expect uh, um, that to make a difference anywhere with any teams? Do you, do you It'll be really interesting to see how things play out. Um, you know, with it being the first year, I'd, I'd be guessing. Uh, at this point, I think it would, would even the playing field a little bit more as far as where people are at. But some of the stuff that we do in the summertime, um, you know, I, I, I think – I guess I don't know how everybody else is doing that too, but we, we do a, a heck of a amount of stuff in the summertime and the work that we expect for the kids to get done um, before we even get into fall camp. So.